My brother proclaimed his innocence until his dying breath. From the day he was arrested to the day he died, Lee always insisted that he did not commit this crime and that he was innocent. The state executed Patricia Young's brother, Liddell Lee, on April 20th, 2017 at the Cummins unit near Pine Bluff. Now she's suing to get access to evidence from the crime scene. We're asking the city of Jacksonville to allow us test DNA and fingerprint evidence from the murder for which our brother was convicted and executed. If my brother was innocent, that means the killer has gone free. According to the lawsuit, the evidence has never been tested with modern technology. The Innocence Project and the American Civil Liberties Union got involved with the case just weeks before Lee was executed. We've had some of the nation's leading experts in forensic science look at that evidence and their findings are deeply troubling. While they've been able to look at the evidence, they say they need access to it so they can get testing done. The lawsuit has been filed in response of the Jacksonville Police Department's decision not to release that evidence for testing. Our organizations will pay for the testing. We will pay for the experts to analyze the evidence. Both sides can have access to it. The process can be open and transparent. The lawsuit names the Jacksonville Police Department, Police Chief Joseph McCullough, the City of Jacksonville, and Mayor Bob Johnson. I talked to the police chief who declined an on-camera interview. Here at City Hall, we talked to the mayor's receptionist who told us the mayor was directing all inquiries to the city attorney's office. So we walked down the hall to the city attorney's office. She wasn't available for an interview, but she did send an email response. In her email, city attorney Stephanie Friedman said that, quote, under current Arkansas statutes and case law, the city of Jacksonville is prohibited from releasing the requested DNA physical evidence for public inspection, end quote. She also sent a copy of the email she sent to the Jacksonville mayor and city council members explaining the city's legal position on the Freedom of Information Act request for Lee's DNA. In Jacksonville, Cole Zimmerman, 4029 News.